Hello again, YouTube. Excuse me, let me get the rocking chair positioned properly. How are y'all doing? It's been a few days. Y'all have not seen me this close together in a while. But, uh, today I'm going to be doing a, uh, I, uh, another entry into the Pipes are Friends, Not Tools series. The series wherein you get to meet my pipes. Get the story behind them. Get how I feel about them. That kind of thing. And today... You get to meet my Savinelli second. It's a rather large billiard. Quick rundown on the history of the pipe. I've owned it for 11 months. Got it in June of 2014. Purchased it from the Humidor in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I paid $55 for it. I think actually I spent like 60 bucks because I got a couple packs of pipe cleaners too. Uh, because unlike the Gatlinburg or Tobacconist in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, the Humidor in Murfreesboro does not give you a free small uh, travel pouch nicely, uh, you know, labeled nicely with their store logo and information about how to get a hold of them and a free tamper. You have to buy your own pipe cleaners when you buy a pipe. And you have to buy your own pipe tamper. If y'all can't tell, I prefer to buy pipes from the Gatlin Burlier Tobacco's. Which uh, I've mentioned a few times, but just again, Mr. Turner up there. If y'all are ever in Gatlinburg, go see Mr. Turner at the Gatlin Burlier Tobacconist. He is a wonderful man. Who I will be going to see shortly. Because I need a couple ounces of Frank's blend. That's another blend that you all should check out up there. Anyway, enough of the shameless plugging of tobacco stores. Smoking some Peter Stoke of his luxury Navy Flake. And now the story. This pipe, uh, I bought it. I was with my buddy Josh. Yes, his name is Josh. I have a lot of friends named Josh. Uh, actually, I have two. Went to high school with this one. Uh, we just ran into each other down there at MTSU. Uh, didn't know either one of us were going there. We had kind of lost touch. Became fishing buddies again. I introduced him to pipe smoking, he loved it. So we're going to the humidor. Just to pick up a couple tins of tobacco. You know, nothing. Nothing unusual. And I walk over and I see this pipe. This pipe right here, I'm holding in my hand. I ignore it. I have, you know, about 24 of these pipes, these seven milliseconds. I'm looking at, you know, a nice little, nice little saddle bit bulldog, you know, I'm looking at uh, another little apple, a full bent apple, a bent Dublin, you know, a couple other little pipes. But then I just, you know, I remember, I'm like, you know, 
these pipe, you know, they were a little flashy. You know, they had twelve of the lucite stems and twelve of the the vulcanite. I'm like, you know, these are just a little too flashy. All the ones I were looking at had the the lucite stems on them. I'm not a flashy guy. I'm fairly simple. I love pipe smoking, fishing, hunting, and you know. Tennessee football. You know. I'm a simple guy, you know. I, I'm just joking. I, I mean, I love all of those things, but that's not all I love. Um, and I thought, you know, that, that billiard, I'm, I'm going to get that one. You know, not playing, spur of the moment. Well, Josh decided, you know, I really like that one. He got one, too. My wife got mad at me. Ruined the surprise I had for her. Cause I had to tell her about it to keep her from being so mad. She wasn't mad anymore. I got a new pipe. But then as I... As I've been, as I started smoking this pipe more and more, I wasn't sure what I wanted to smoke in it, so I was just smoking Virginias in it. It just, you know, it hit me. This is, you know, this is just this. It's a simple pipe. It just did. It fits. You know, I thought, well, you know, I'll get, you know, I'll wait till winter rolls around and I'll smoke some, some Latakia blends in it, some heavy Latakia blends in it, see how I like it. And, you know, I just thought, you know, no, it smokes really good <clears throat> the way it is, what I'm smoking in it. And then I started to realize, you know, I didn't buy this pipe because, I, you know, Just for no reason, you know. I, I thought, you know, it just kind of hit me one day. It, this was, you know, I'd finished my my first year at Middle Tennessee State University. I decided I, I didn't want to be a record producer, or studio musician, or you know, <clears throat> recording engineer, anything like that. I realized I bought this pipe to remind myself of that, to not get lost in in things that, you know, just aren't, aren't for me. And so over the, you know, past year I've had this pipe, it's really, it's served that, whether knowingly or not, it has served that purpose. And not only being the second best smoking pipe I own, and when I say that, I mean it delivers time in, time out, that exceptional, you know, that great experience. And I believe that that has something to do with the mindset that it puts me in when I smoke it, whether or not I realize it, but it does. But uh, that's uh, that's the story of my Savinelli second. It's not a grand story, not a long story. I guess the moral of the story is don't get caught up in things that just aren't aren't for you. Because more often than not, that I've found, I know when I'm doing something that's just not for me. And I've, I've tried, uh, you know, to really try to make a conscious effort to just 
you know, be me, do what, you know, what I do, and not really, you know, not really get involved with things that I just, I don't care about, or maybe they're just not for me, so, if you take anything away from that story, take that away from it. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I'll be seeing you again shortly. I'll probably put up another video right after this one. Just a regular video. Uh, just a couple things I just wanted to come on and say. But, uh, y'all have a good rest of your week. Have a good Tuesday. Have a good Wednesday. Good Thursday. Good Friday. And uh, hopefully again we'll, uh, hopefully we'll talk again Friday. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later.